Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. Poco X2, a Redmi K30, is a great device. Official update by the OEM has been stopped for this device, but third-party custom ROMs development is still available, and we reviewed some of Android 14 custom ROM till the date for this device. But few days back, we got yet another new custom ROM called as the Project Apollo OS. It's Android 14 based custom ROM with lots of essential customization features. So today we will show you how you can flash this build, what are the working features including the camera, safety net etc. So you can decide is it daily drivable build or not. We tested the performance and the bugs present in the ROM. So watch this video till the end so you can decide is this ROM is suitable for you or not. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. To flash this custom ROM, you need the newest TWRP installed on your device. It has working decryption for Android 14 builds. Download and place the full ROM zip file in the internal storage. Now boot your device into the uh, TWRP mode. Then tap install, then locate your ROM zip file. Once flashing gets done, tap wipe, select format data. This is necessary if you are flashing this ROM first time or coming from any other custom ROM. Now tap reboot to system. Remember this ROM will not replace your recovery, it will remain as a TWRP. This ROM has a pixel boot animation, once booted, please complete the first initial setup. So ROM comes with the Apollo launcher with some default stock wallpapers of the Apollo OS. Let's check out the about phone details now. ROM is based on the latest Android 14 upside down cake version. It is a signature easter egg of Android 14. ROM didn't got its March updates, so security patch is still old, it's February 2024. It comes with the pure kernel version 4.14.288, built with the Proton Clang tool chain 17. Say Linux support is enforcing. Apollo OS version is 1.3, its code name is Aura. Maintainer of the build is the developer Sripal. Great thing is that this is the official build. So we will get all the official monthly updates via OTA. Now let's check out working functions of the ROM. We will discuss the bugs at the end of this video so stay tuned. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, auto brightness. These basic functions are working very good. VLT calling and the Wi-Fi calling is available. Both are working. Who gets the Google call recording in the dialer and the recorded calls will be available under the call log. On screen, hey Google Voice activation is working. FM radio and the infrared blasters both are working. Google Photo has the working unlimited photos backup. I tested some important sensors like the accelerometer, ear proximity, ear speaker, multi-touch, display, all things are working fine. But some sensors like magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are not working in my device. It's because of device specific issue. These sensors are working for other users. The most important functions like safety net is passing successfully so we can able to use all the banking and the security application in this ROM. Widewind security is L1 so we can able to stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime with the full HD resolution. Google Play Protect is certified. So basically all the essential functionalities are working perfectly so definitely ROM is daily drivable build. Now let's check out some important customizations available in this ROM. Main setting option of this ROM offers some nice animation at the top of the setting panel. Under the space station customization setting, who gets all the important and some new customizations features. I will not discuss them here because it may lengthen the video. But some settings like the themes offer most advanced customization features like the different presets for the QS panel as you can check on the screen. Under the display and the dark theme, who gets the pure black theme for overall user interface of the ROM? Who gets some already created presets of the themes like Vibrant, Expressive, Spritz, etc. Lots of headline, icons, signal icons, Wi-Fi icon, navigation bar, fonts are available to choose in this setting. 
Under the miscellaneous option, who gives the height developer option for specific applications which detects the setting and cause issues for working of the device. Under the spoofing, we can fix the play integrity which is enabled by the default. We can enable the higher FPS to play the BGM or like game at the 90 FPS. Under this play setting, who gets the double tap to wake and sleep and both are working in this room. Under the application, who gets most important feature called as the parallel application. So we can able to create the parallel apps for all the user applications installed in the phone and can run the different account within them. Now let's check out the camera available in the build. ROM has very simple camera application, so I installed the same MG Cam build. Its link is available under the video description. It has almost all the camera features working like night mode, portrait mode for the both the front and the main camera. All wide angle camera modes are working for the video recording, 180p 60fps is working. Other things like 4K 60fps is not available. Slow motion video recording is working. Here are the samples for the slow motion video, normal video recording and the camera quality. Camera has some different options like shade control, automatic white balance, Gcam profile setting, etc. Let's check out the performance of the ROM. ROM is super snappy, RAM arrangement of this custom ROM is very good. Swapping, scrolling feels buttery smooth. If you check the performance of the device numerically with the Geekbench, you got the score of 554 and 1316 for the single and multi core respectively. Which is nearly same as other custom ROM we reviewed till the date. For OpenGL graphics CPI we got the score of 1049 and for Hulkan the score was 944. All these scores are good and justifying the performance of this old device by means of this custom ROM we are getting the new life to such aged devices. Now comes the final and the most important part that is the bugs and the issues. First one is for the camera. Camera has all the major features working. Only things are not working is the panorama mode and the photo spare mode both are not working. 4K stiffness for the video recording is not possible. Under the wallpapers and the style setting, we didn't case the Android 14 new AI generated wallpapers and the emojis wallpaper setting. Only some Apollo stock wallpapers are available here. Under the setting and system, we case the OT updater, but it's showing some network error and not working even though I have the stable network connection. Except some of these minor issues, nothing serious I found. So definitely this one is a daily driver build for the Poco X2 with some essential and extra customizations. Major plus point is that it is a official build so you will get all the official OTA in this ROM. So this is for today guys, hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content of all the custom ROM mods review for the POCO X2. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.